I'm getting ready to do an extensive review on this custom billabong wetsuit. That's coming up within the next video or two. I'm not lying. I'm just gonna let you know what I think, give you my thoughts, whether it's a go or a no. It's about five o'clock right now. AM, I haven't done one of these type of beach vlogs for a little while, but we're getting back to it. If you looked at the title of this video, you know what it is. I got a package in the mail a few days back. I haven't opened it because I wanted to do it on camera for you and show you what I got. According to Surfline, first light, is at 6.27 a.m. Sunrise is at 6.52 a.m. We're gonna try and capture that sunrise this morning. I gotta wake up and get myself together. Let's head to the beach. I love the beach in the morning. It's so calm, peaceful. The beach is quiet. There's no cars on the beach right now. There's probably some surfers out there. Dawn Patrol's a thing. These are ideal mornings. I wanted to do this review. I could have done this at home. I could have. I just wanted to go to the beach. This here is more or less going to be a review of the 2020-21 winter season with this billabong wetsuit. This is a custom wetsuit that I purchased. Um, if you haven't seen my other videos, I have two of them. One's the unboxing, one's the, the test, the trial. And then this one is my final thoughts on this billabong wetsuit. So let's get a couple things out of the way very quickly. This here is a billabong 3-2 Revolution. This was a custom wetsuit made. This holds up in 15 to 19 degrees Celsius or 59 to about 66 degrees Fahrenheit. And it has perfect, darn near excellent thermal retention. It holds in the heat very well. I think they call it the quick dry thermal lining, if I'm not mistaken. This is the thermal lining. This is what Billabong uses, this thermal lighting. And it definitely has low water absorption. Furnace jersey material, it basically creates air pockets that hold in the heat of your body. I don't know if you can see the stitching right here and all across here. They say it's twin needle stitched, glued, then blind stitched, which I don't know what blind stitched means. And it has a super flex neo tape around the seams. So basically what they're trying to say is, is that it is pretty much a seamless wetsuit. When I first got it, cause I had rip curl wetsuits before and they had a, like a lot of that type of rubber that goes over the stitching. So you don't see the stitching like you do on this wetsuit. From what I've seen and what I've experienced myself, like rubber that goes over the stitching, it cracks a lot. And when it cracks, then the water sort of seeps in to the wetsuit which kind of was kind of a bummer for me especially with rip curl because i really liked my rip curl it was my favorite wetsuit obviously this is my new favorite wetsuit good morning. hey good morning it claims it has minimal seams for maximum flexibility i can't argue with that now that we got those type of things out of the way this was made of recycled tires 
I think a lot of wetsuits nowadays are going more towards like the recycled idea, like what, what they're using, sort of try to be like environmentally friendly, leave a lighter carbon footprint on the world, which is cool. My biggest thing is performance, flexibility, and warmth. It's a phenomenal wetsuit. I just like the idea of being able to customize and create something that's your own. Everybody has mostly all black wetsuits. I just like the idea of just being a little bit different. That's one of the reasons why I went with that idea to like customize my own. It kept me super warm. We will use our wetsuits anywhere between the end of November going into probably the end of March, beginning of April. I didn't get any water leakage in my suit. I wasn't finding any resistance for the most part with this wetsuit. Even when paddling, when surfing, I didn't get any of that resistance. You have to take care of your wetsuits. You have to clean them. In cleaning your wetsuit, it does make it last longer. One thing that I will tell you, and I got a lot of wear out of this wetsuit. You can see that there is a little bit of wear, maybe not. Maybe you can't really tell, but you can see that there's just a little bit of wear in certain areas of the wetsuit. I think that I can get another two seasons. If I take care of it properly, I could probably get another three seasons out of this wetsuit. Overall, like I'm super happy with this wetsuit. If I were you, I would go and invest in something like this because this is a really good wetsuit. So the other day I was out here with my friend Ricky, also known on Instagram as Shark Lord, and it was super sharky out there. Like the moment that we hit the water, we saw sharks in the shallows. We saw sharks out in the waves. We even seen some dolphin. I didn't record any of it, just for the mere fact that like, I just wanted to get out into the water and just enjoy my time in the water. I didn't document any of that. I really wish I did now. It was a little, um, what's the word I'm looking for? A little nerve wracking. Usually it doesn't bother me that much. This go around when I was out there, just seeing so many of them just was kind of, it made you kind of like, oh. Definitely kept my feet out of the water when I was done with the wave. I made sure I landed right back on my board. <laughs> I think this is a good spot to set up for a drone. 